All right, guys, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. We're here inside the beautiful cathedral-esque, to coin a word, Nilfgaard. We're in uh, Emir van Emreis's cathedrally, castle place. Anyway, um, this is a set of missions, a series of missions called Brother in Arms. Basically, we have to try and recruit as many people as we can to come and help in the fight at Kaer Morhen. We already know what's going to happen. Um, that we, we're going to try and find Ciri, we're going to take her back to Kaer Morhen, and we're going to need some help, because the Wild Hunt will be in hot pursuit as soon as they know where she is, which they will detect immediately as soon as she arrives away from the Isle of Mist. The Isle of Mist will come later. But this is a series of missions to try and get some help. I love the armor. This is why they should have put this armor in the TV series. It's so much more aesthetically pleasing. I think Geralt was trying to steal his spear there. All right, Mrs. Noblewoman. Hmm? Yes, you. Hmm? You. Are hmm? you adjusting your bust? She is. What? Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's go talk to a series paternal father and see if he's one of the people willing to help us. Your Imperial Majesty. Witcher, why have you come? I've managed to find out where Ciri is. Finally, I'd begun to doubt the wisdom of enlisting you. Bring her here at once. The Wild Hunt's pursuing her. Kaer Morin's the only place she'll be safe. That was not a suggestion. I can defend my own daughter. Yeah, uh, I'd rather see to it myself. Absolutely right. But we are trying to get him on side. I don't doubt it. Against conventional foes, the Wild Hunt's different. Facing it here would put Vizima at risk. Hundreds of innocents could die. Kaer Morhen is in a wilderness, and your army stands to be far more helpful there. Hmm. Agreed. I shall send a banner with you. On one condition, General Voris will lead it. Can't agree to that. And I cannot agree to witches commanding my troops. Well, I'm not about to give in. You don't look it either. Sorry to take up your time, your majesty. So, that's it. Bring me Siri. I will. If that's what she there wants. There you go. If that's what she wants. So there you go. That was a straightforward one. Um, no matter what conversation options you choose with him, he does not help. Even though he's willing to send... A battalion of soldiers. Geralt was never going to allow General Voris to lead this. Uh, this is sorry, he basically wanted to command the whole operation. Ain't gonna happen. Anyway, let's head off to Novigrad to speak to all my all my buddies here: Zoltan, Roche, and Dijkstra. Dijkstra, I wouldn't consider a buddy, but he might well help us. Let's start off with Zoltan. The curse that held Uma proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists. Zoltan. Get out! Uh, oh, actually, I've got to play him again at Gwent to try and get the uh, the special card he's got. Um, but anyway, what, what we're really here is to ask for your help against the Wild Hunt. I know where Ciri is. Then why are we here? Let's go get the lassie! I'll do that, but I have another job for you. You need to set out for Kaer Morhen. That's where I'll take Ciri. The Wild Hunt will attack soon afterwards. Could use you at our side. You'll have me... And by axe! Thanks. See you at Kaer Morhen. Vesemir, Eskel, and Lambert are already there. Isn't that great? He sounds just like Gimli. And you shall have my axe. Here we go. We're back in the, the sauna, the baths. I don't know what you would call this place. Oh, he's over here. Wrong turn. Alright, happen. Right, my friends. Now, Digstra, can we convince this guy to give us a hand? Got a minute. I do. What do you want? And I'm not talking about a round of applause. 
The Wild Hunt, I need help. Wasn't sure I should even ask you. Still not. But what the hell? I could honestly use some help. Oh, my help. Very interesting. Do tell. Wild Hunt's gonna attack Kaer Morin soon. It's a sure thing. Looking for people, resources, anything that'll help me repel them. The Wild Hunt? Don't tell me you believe that nonsense. Hardly nonsense. Got a taste of it. A painful taste. On my own skin. Hmm. Sorry, Geralt, but I've my own pile of problems just now. I've not recovered my lost property. Your help, you might remember, left much to be desired. So I don't owe you shit. I thought I helped him out. What? Oh, maybe I didn't. I th oh, well, there you go. Um, it turns out, though, to be honest, the only thing you can get out of him is, like, a thousand coins, even if you have helped him find his property. Uh, it, it doesn't really ever go well with him. So, yeah, I, I kind of... Wandering around here trying to get people's help, and you feel like... You feel like you've... You've failed somehow, but it's not your fault. These guys, Emir uh, and Dijkstra, they, they, they are just not going to help you. Um, but you've got to try, at least. Otherwise, you can't complete this mission. Now, Roche is a funny one. He... There are conditions with him, and I'll explain a bit more. Well, it's probably, it'll probably become apparent when we actually meet him, but when I get to... Uh, a fast travel point and we get over there I'll you'll see you'll see okay here we are at the uh, now, Temerian Roche's, hideout they can't catch the Roche is somewhere inside and uh, now we've just got him to convince I think I think Triss was also as I said it was part of this section of the quest but she's already sorted out Vernon help me man Geralt of Rivia safe and sound could use your help at Kaer Morin. Aim to take Ciri there. Wild Hunt's bound to appear soon after. You didn't turn your back on me when I was in need. It's only fair I do the same. Thanks. Venture to say your skills might prove invaluable. I'll consider whether to bring Vess. Either way, I'll see you at Kaer Morin. There you go. Simple as. So the the thing the trick with him is that you have to have completed the quest we did for him earlier, an eye for an eye. It was a he said, Would you please come and help me with something? And we obviously got uh, Vess. She has to survive, by the way. Otherwise, you can't ask Roche for help. Well, you can ask, uh, but he will he will kind of not if you didn't help him out in the first place. Right, next up is to hop over, back on over, I should say, to Skelliger. Now, as you can see in this mission list, we must have already done certain tasks. And they came up as side quest of their own. Help resolve the matter of the succession to the throne. We've done that. Help Ceres find that riddle. You know, the the, the haunted house, Udalric's madness, where we threw the baby in the fire. We didn't really. And help Kjalmar with that expedition to kill the giant. That was pretty good. I'm actually pleased with that one because that's the first time I've managed to save the guy that was locked in the in the, the prison there. You know, under that boat prison that the giant was keeping him in. Oh, God, there's so much going on. But we've got to talk to Ermion. Crack. And Ceres. Well, the weather is beautiful here. Oh, are you in here? Oh, yes, you are. Right, this guy. And you know what? I didn't realize this. Um, but this, this guy can also be... Uh, is also known as... Um, Mouse... Oh, what's it called? Mouse Sack. Mouse Sack plays an important role in the TV show. He's, uh, he's, he's... That's what they refer to him. I didn't realize that these... This druid and Mouse Sack were actually the same person um but apparently they are but ermion is his name in the witcher 3 can we talk okay uh need your help fighting the wild hunt man but i didn't realize i had so many questions and conversation options with these people the wild hunt will attack care more and soon gonna need your help the wild hunt are you certain so uh, you found siri i know where she is and the wild hunt will also learn that as soon as i find her I see. I shall pack immediately. Leave tomorrow at the latest. Thank you. I'm no need. I raised the girl and I've still a duty to her. I shall see you at Kaer Mohan. And there you go. 
when he says he raised the girl they really do put that emphasis in the TV show and again I, I wish I'd read the books or played uh, or played all of the original stories so next up let's talk to crack next because uh, I think we should leave Ceres for last right let's go and get the fast travel point I'll be right back this is a bit of a hop skip and a jump around the world of the Witcher 3 just to get this part done <laughs> These remind me of those dancing girls in the Elden Ring. <laughs> nice moves. Man, you're stealing some of mine there. I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of impressed. Right crack. Wanted to talk. This isn't easy, but I need to ask you a favor. A big one. Tell me, friend. Siri, I know where she is, but I also know that as soon as I reach her, the Wild Hunt will know I did. They'll come after us, attack, and we'll need to respond with strength. Can I count on you? The Black Ones first, now wraiths. Such is life. Bring her here, and we'll face them in battle. Yeah, but we... You heard the plan, right? Okay, Morin, that's where we're going to be. Can't risk your men's lives. Care Morin, we fight them there, nowhere else. Care Morin is hundreds of miles away. To move an army there would take weeks. Not to mention, I'd expose the Isles to Nilfgaard's blows. Geralt, forgive me, but I cannot do it. I understand. Won't take up any more of your time. Farewell. Wait! Won't let you leave empty-handed. I'll help as I can. Come with me. I suppose <clears throat> this is the trouble with this quest, is that it's, it's to save the life Beautiful of one person. Got a but what they save. don't realise. Not I. King Erland Uncrate did. Erland Stonefist? So this is Winter's Blade. Thought I was a legend. Forged in Mahakam. Tempered in dragon fire. Been in the Uncrate family for centuries. And now, it's yours. Wow. I mean, I, I, there's an option here to say I can't accept this, but I'm having that sword, thank you. Thank you. This can't be easy for you. I appreciate it all the more. May it serve you well. Send those spectres back where they came from. That's my intention. Farewell. Sorry, why have I sort of stopped in the middle of a sentence there? But what, what we don't realize yet, though, is that stopping the wild hunt has far wider implications than it appears. I'm just going to steal all your stuff, Crack. Thanks very much. Okay, it's not very clear how to find Ceres, so I've had to run around a little bit, but I think I've found her now. The map leads you off in weird directions, but here we go. So, the Queen of the Isles. Your Royal Majesty. Would you spare a moment? Come on, Geralt. I'm the same lass I was, save for the title. A lot of things changed. Right, now I need your help, okay? I've done you enough favours. You're the Queen now, thanks. Probably likely to me. Got a delicate matter I wanted to bring up. Need your help. What is it? Crox mentioned Siri to you. He must have. Have you found her? Not yet, but I'm close. Problem is, as soon as I get to her, the Wild Hunt will probably be able to locate us quickly. So I'll want to take her to Kaer Morin. Battle the hunt there. I'm looking for allies. I can't leave the Isles now. It's impossible. What I can do is give you my best warrior, Yalmar. Think you'll be willing? I'm sure of it. In fact, I think he'll be overjoyed. Come on, you know him. Yeah, guess I do. Thanks. No doubt he'll be valiant. I hope he proves useful too. Good luck. And there you go. So it, it can go a few ways, this particular part, but because we helped both Hjalmar and Ceres, we don't have to go and deal with Hjalmar in this, in this particular quest line. Um, but she, she automatically insists you can have him. You can have him. Take him. I'm hoping he is 
equally as up for the challenge. Ah, Geralt. How are things? The Wild Hunt's preparing to attack Kaer Morhen. Could use your help. Rates at the gate of your Witcher's stronghold. You're a friend of the clan. I cannot refuse you. What's more, no one crates ever stood and battled such a foe. I'll leave at once. Thanks. Won't forget this. And there we go. We got a full crew. It's a trophy. It's the first time I've earned it. So we got basically everybody we possibly can get. Everybody is on board. Um, and I think actually Letho, do you remember him? Uh, the big burly bald witcher. He is also going to be there because we've already uh, sort of helped him and he and he survived. Uh, there was a chance he could he could not be there because like Geralt might have killed him in the earlier game in the second game, but that didn't happen. So we're off back. Oh no, we can't go back to Kemorin now. We've got a new quest, the Isle of Mist. Oh crap, we've got to do this now. Garrett was at last a step from his goal. Avalak had hid Ciri from the hunt on the magical Isle of Mists, which could only be reached if fate deemed one worthy, or by following a magic firefly. Do you remember that? Which was decidedly the easier option. Geralt thus readied himself to sail to the Isle and bring back Ciri. You can see why they call it the Isle of Mists, can't you? It's like a red mist. Like the anger is descending on us. <laughs> okay, you're nearing a crucial point in the game story. It's recommended to save your game in a manual slot now. Oh, I like that. That's a good a good call. The reason for that is if you haven't done certain side quests by the time you get here, they all fail. The curse that held Uma proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf. And an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists. Isn't it amazing? Everything we've been doing in the game to this point has been just simply to try and find this girl, the wonderful Ciri, and set the sail up. You can't see the damn. Firefly. Which way, you, which way are you going, mate? Which way did you go? Oh, there you are. Having to steer the boat and the camera, holding down the X button. You've got to be pretty fluid. I'm going to have to claw. I'm going to use the claw technique on my uh, my controller to get this done. Oh, great. Are we going to do this? Trying to damage the boat, right? I'll just knock her off on a rock. Thank you. See how the front portion of the ship has been damaged? Her fault entirely. Where's my where's my firefly going? You can see why there's so many shipwrecks in this place. <laughs> Nobody can see where the flipping heck they're going. All right, all right, this has got to stop. Get off. I have to deal with this problem. Get in the water. No, get up. Just need a few of them to land, including my arrows. There you go. They're making a mockery of this. Only takes two arrows to knock them out of the air anyway. Job done, let's go. Okay, 
Okay, my boat's broken. We got chunks out of it. It's going to become a raft in a minute. Oh, thankfully. All ashore. Tangalore? What a wonderful name. Nice to meet you. Very short existence. Damn, you're ugly. There's a variant of the foglet. What do you guys drop? Emerald dust and phosphorus. I mean, how do they get emerald dust in their bodies anyway? Do they, is, it, is it their favourite food? We're we just pillaging their stomachs. <laughs> they eat, they chew up and grind emeralds. That might actually be what it is. Fouler things in this place. Firefly stopped at the hut. I'll look inside. We ought to look inside. No, just checking for loot. Come on then. Put the sword away. Locked. Anybody in there? Damn. I I I, rem I recognize these voices. I'm sure we've met these guys before. Who are you? They call me Geralt. Who are you? Oh, is that what you? I heard the ballad about this and all that sorceress. What's her name? Shut it. <laughs> Uh, starting to lose my patience. Sorceress' name is Yennefer. Yeah, you might remember her. Yennefer. Sorceress's name is Yennefer of Vengerberg. Hey, that's it. Her eyes flashing lightning. Her heart an icy bed. Um, how did it go? Buy my mum's beard. Get yourselves together, lads. You there, outside the door. Geralt, the right. Yeah, Geralt. Listen, Geralt. Let's cut to the thick of it. We survived a shipwreck recently. Beasts from the depths ate some of my lads, and the rest of us found shelter here. Not too special, that, as dangers litter this isle, but it does go to explain why we're a wee bit distrustful. Why, does, why do I feel like they want me to do something for them before they will open the door and help me? Uh, because it's most likely inevitable. What the hell do you want? This conversation's getting tiring. Listen, let's make a deal. If that's a demon, it'll try to dupe us now. I'm not a demon. You don't need to fear me. Give me a chance, I'll prove it. How do you aim to do that? Okay, oh god, there you go. I've got to go look for your lost mates. Open up before I get angry. I mean, I could go with that option. Why not? Open the door, or I'll open it myself. You try. These hinges, this lock, they'll withstand anything. Of course, you could always come back with a platoon of engineers, a battering rammer of a hackerman locksmith. Find the threats. We've only one cut. We'd be better to help each other than argue. All right. What do you want? I want you to find our mates. Ivo, Berenk, and Gaspar. They ventured off, but they're on the Isle mission, and probably lost. Help them. Help me. Please. If anyone can find them, I know you can. Right. Where would I... F oh, I've got to go through each bloody one. Where's Ivo then? Come on. This let's Ivo. do it. Where do I look? Edger insisted he'd explore the caves to the east. Tried to knock it out his head. Literally. Bugger wouldn't budge. Gaspard. Where will I find him? He said it was defeatist to sit and wait to be rescued. We had to take action, or at least he did. Claimed to have spotted a lantern out to sea, so he said he'd climb the highest peak to look out for ships. Where'd Ferenc go? West, in search of a ship that's said to be out there. Ferenc, he's there. Uh, handy. Thought I might fix it up. Make me see one thing. Got it. I'm off. Let's go get your buddies. All right. See if I can't find all three. See ya. I am content to understand. As always with the Witcher, everything comes with a catch. 
there are beasts and creatures to get through and fight and or maybe run past just to get to these people. We can do this. If we take the short the shortcuts. <laughs> Come on, last one. Damn it, should have dodged. How long are you gonna make me wait? Funny, he can't guard against these things. I'm gonna try that again. Oh no, well, actually I didn't even make contact. That did work. I've got you now. Beautiful. Right. Bunch of dead harpies. I'll grab all the loot you've dropped as well. Okay, I see him. There he is, standing on a rock. Uh, it's a bit of a long drop that way. We'll have to we'll have to run around. <clears throat> yeah, I got you, man. Oh, we got a bilge hag. Lovely. Bastard. Absolutely fried that one. You gotta come here when you've leveled up a little bit, <laughs> otherwise that can be annoying. Am I ever pleased to see you? I talked to your friends. Come down. Right. I'm coming. You lucky devil, you. You know, I've one regret. That. Oh, ah, ah. oh God, no. Dead. No way! Damn. I don't remember that happening. Oh, crap. Oh, and we saved him as well. I wonder how he got up there in the first place. That's a hell of a climb. Oh, mate. I'm so sorry. I don't know what to say. <laughs> All that effort. So, we got one more to, uh, one, one more person to find. Uh, near the lighthouse. Thankfully, the lighthouse has a light, so it's quite easy to spot from a distance in this place. Let's get over there and uh, see how we can kill this dwarf. Can hear talking. There you go. Right, are you okay? You're alive. Let me grab the loot from here. Ooh, look at this. A Strybog rune stone, a divana. Elven steel sword and superior white honey. Useful for any infections. Hey, wake up. Shoo. Back to bed, nibbles. What? Wake up. Wh what's happening? Who, who are you? I'm Geralt. Your friends asked me to find you, Ferenc, and Ivo. I'm afraid they're dead. Some horror swarmed Ivo saw it with my own eyes. And Ferenc... I heard him, a blood-curdling cry, then the roar of a beast. Let's get back to the hut. I'll protect you along the way. Shame about the lads, really, but what can you do? Come on. But I should warn you, I suffer from narcolepsy, <laughs> meaning... Uh, oh. I know what it means. Don't worry, I'll keep you awake. Uh, off we go then. Narcolepsy is, uh, is one of the most wonderful psychological conditions, if it's psychological. If you get ex slightly excited, you can just fall asleep like a drop of a hat. There's these famous goats, I think they're called the pygmy goats, that when they get surprised or shocked, they just keel over. <laughs> like, I don't know if it's the same thing, but I thought that was what narcolepsy was. You can just instantly fall asleep if, you get s if your heart rate goes up above a certain level. Uh, that stench. That's one out the way. Oh, hello. We got more. Alright, we're done. Come on. Wake up. Are you good? That's stronger than me. I'm so... So what have I got to... How do I wake him? I can't use Ard. Wake up. Uh, I'm awake. Why, why do wake? Come on, keep moving. <laughs> He's so asleep, his head is in the ground. And his, now his right foot is doing twisty somersaults. Know much about this isle? Almost nothing. You know, it, it ain't on my map. 
A common characteristic of enchanted islands. You think it's enchanted? It's the one thing I'm sure of. Okay, sadly, it looks like we got more of these harpies to deal with. Uh, look for Ferenc along the coast. Do we do that now? This is a perfect place for a foglet, really, isn't it? Let's reveal this guy. Come on, come out. Die. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh, he got me. He got me good. Got you back. At this point in the game, you're always so eager to get hold of, like, to find everybody you need to find to get this done. It's like, oh, would you please, oh. It's like, would you please just let me find her? Tried to flee the fiend. Stubby legs, too slow. All right, we've got a bit of a battle in our hands. These guys can be pretty tricky. And they look amazing. Let's get a good look at them up close. Look at these, th look at that. Absolutely stunning machine of an animal. I do like, I'm so glad they've put camera mode on this because I've never really had a good chance to take a good look at these things up. They've got a third eye. Amazing looking. Absolutely stunning. I love the stripy, stripy skin. Almost elk-like antlers. A lion's tail. All these beasts appeared in this world after the conjunction of the spheres, where, where the universe has kind of collided. Beasts and animals and creatures from another dimension. Or another uh, sphere. Were, were pulled into this world. There weren't any before this all happened. I love that about this this game. The, the the lore behind it is so rich. Oh god, we got another dead one. One of the missing dwarves. Shame he's dead. Oh boy. Are you still with me? Dude. Police. I have been I have played for about 40, 50 hours to get to the point where I am this close to finding Siri. Drifting off. Oh, he's done it again. Right, I'm gonna, I swear to God, I'm gonna burn him. <laughs> Wake up. Please. All right, right, just a wee All right, let's watch for the twitchy foot. Let's see if he Get does his up. Lucy ankle rotations again. There, oh, there it goes. Both feet this time. Nicely done. Come on. So, what is it brought you to this strange place? Looking for someone. H here? Mm hmm. Just kind of turned out that way. Alright. Finally we get back. Hopefully I don't have to wake him up again. Oh, we do have to wait for him to catch up. Not too keen on talking Brought you your friend. I sure. Let's hear him then. Wake up. I'm awake. <laughs> Gaspard! Stand back! I'm opening the door! Gaspard! Ha! You seem a bit muddled. Uh, muddled. A bit drowsy, that's all. What of the others? Found one near a monster's den. He was already dead, sadly. Saw another fall from a cliff. Broke his neck. Shit. Raverick told me to have an eye on the snot. Twas his nephew. Thanks for helping, and, uh, sorry I didn't trust you. Oh, everything's gone wrong. What'll we do now? Got a boat. You can leave with me, but I need to find someone first. An ashen-haired lass? Yes. Oh, dreadful sorry. What? Why are you sorry? What do you mean? She's cold. Spirits left her. Must have passed shortly before we found her. Let's wait by the boat. She's in here. She's in here. Finally, we find Siri. But please, oh please, don't let what they said be true.
I love that. I love that. It's so beautifully done. So that firefly was more than just a lead, a way to get to her. It was almost like her life essence in a jar. <laughs> Guess not all of Vesemir's teachings have receded into oblivion. A witcher can forget to eat, to drink, to breathe even. But a witcher never, ever forgets to care for his blade. <laughs> uh, yeah, I used to repeat that incessantly. Never tired of doing it either. What creature was it? Huh? Creature? One that gave you the scar over your left eye. It's new. I don't remember it. Souvenir from the Cockatrice of Spala. Another addition to the collection. Nothing special. Yours is healed beautifully, though. Avalach. He prepared some special ointments for me. But that was before the curse gripped him. I wonder where he is now. Guess what? We can bring the whole gang back together. We lifted the curse. He's at Kaer Morin, waiting for you. Are you serious? You must be. You'd not jest about something like that. <laughs> A nice thing to wake up to. You trust him? Avalog? He's not let me down to date. Not once. Why is he helping you? This is so many questions, because at this point in the story, you're like, who the hell is this guy? Why exactly is Avalach helping you? Sages have never been fond of humans. He doesn't do it for me. It's about my power. As if it could ever be about anything else. Avalach tried to teach me how to control my ability. He was also making sure I didn't fall into Eridan's hands. What's Eridan after? What's he want from you? What everyone wants. Control of my powers. His homeworld faces annihilation. Eridan's decided to invade ours. Brilliant, wouldn't you say? Can't achieve much on his own, so he needs to bring an army. Except his navigators can't possibly move him and thousands of NL between planes. Their abilities won't allow it. Whereas yours will. Exactly. And if I die in the process? Well, that's a necessary sacrifice. Isn't that cool, right? Finally we understand why they're after Ciri. It's not to take control of her power, it's to take control of her. To help her transport a whole ton of NL, which is one kind of type of elf, I think. Uh, like, basically transport an army to his homeworld. Because his homeworld is at threat of destruction. I guess he's being invaded and attacked. And I don't know, man. I wonder if <clears throat> that particular story, like how Eridin's world becomes at, under threat. Like, if somebody's attacking his world, is it because they might be a friend of ours? You know, is it one of these weird circular stories? I don't know. Maybe you guys already know. Perhaps it's mentioned in the books. Who is attacking Eridin's homeworld? It, it would be a wonderful twist of fate that it might actually be Siri, Geralt, and the people from this world in an alternate reality. Or so, I don't know. I'm sorry. I think I'm going a bit too far with this theory. But whoever they are, as they say, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. We should team up with these people. How do you ever start traveling with Avalach? As soon as I had left you and Yen on the Isle of Avalon, I found myself pursued. Eridin and his Red Riders were on my heels. I fled through many worlds, many times. They came very close to catching me once. It was then that Avalach appeared, out of nowhere. He found a portal and took us to a world where Eridin couldn't find us for, oh, perhaps half a year. What was the world? Now listen to this carefully. The world where Eridin couldn't find you. What was it like? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. People there had metal in their heads. Waged war from a distance. Using things similar to megascopes. And there were no horses. Everyone had their own flying ship instead. Siri, stop fooling around. Told you you wouldn't believe me. <sighs> we should have stayed there. Now many, many people thought that that was a description of the world of cyberpunk obviously city project red uh, P, uh ip 
So uh, people have said, oh, well, it was that what she was describing? The, the difference is there, though, when, when she said everybody had a flying car. That wasn't exactly cyberpunk, was it? Everybody had a car. It was still very grounded, the transport in cyberpunk. But the, everyone had metal in their heads and people were thinking, oh, God, this they, this is it. This is the, the link or the, the overlap between the two games. So everyone was saying, is Siri going to be in cyberpunk? Is she? And when it came out, of course, she wasn't because I don't think that was actually the world she's describing. But she is describing a futuristic world, nothing like the medieval world of, of The Witcher 3. And I love that. I think it's so intriguing. And maybe, maybe one day, The Witcher 4 possibly five or six will explore these other realities that Avalak took her to and I would love to see it I would definitely it's like one of those take my money kind of options so why'd you return I thought the hunt had lost my scent for good I thought I was safe besides I I wanted to find you you and Yennefer you were looking for us we were looking for you times I thought you were just a step away other times, felt like I was going around in circles. I'm not surprised. There were times I fled pell-mell head first and forward. I know your story. Tell me how you wound up here. Now, do you know what? I want to hear it from her point of view. So tell me how it happened, step by step. Eredin located us mere moments after we landed on Ard Skellig. Soon after, he and his riders surrounded us. I thought it was over, the end. Turned out Eredin had other plans. He produced the phylactery, uncorked it. A fog enveloped us, and Avalach began gasping for air. That's how Eredin cursed Avalach, triggered his transformation into Uma? Yes. He didn't wish to kill him. Humiliation, that's what he was after. But Avalach refused to succumb without a fight. He cast a spell that wrought havoc in the hunt's ranks. And in a full half of a forest on Ard Skellig. Yet it also gave us time to flee. Avalark opened a portal. I leapt in. He was supposed to follow right behind me, but something went awry. Impaired by the curse, he failed to reach the portal in time. We had agreed that if anything went wrong and we were separated, we would meet at his hideout in Velen. Yeah, I know. We followed. I loved it. I loved though hearing what happened this is like a glorious recap of the whole game so far but you failed to meet there yes we failed to once through the portal instead of at avalark's hideout i landed right in the middle of crookback bog i barely escaped the crones and then there was the baron you know he took me hunting i killed a wild boar with my sword i heard a coincidence really I had no desire to hunt that day, but it felt wrong to refuse. I'd taken nothing remotely resembling a hunting weapon. I simply hadn't intended to hunt. I was wandering through the forest, breathing deep the air. And then I heard a strange sound, unsettling. Boar attacked you? Mm-hmm. Big as a bison and lumbering straight at me. And all I had was my sword. I had to manage. Did just fine, judging by how the Baron's men remember it. Simple soldiers, the whole lot. But we got along splendidly. A shame I had to leave. Flee. But I didn't want to bring the wild hunt down on them. Apart from which, I knew by then the curse was progressing. So instead of looking for Avalach, I decided to find you and Yen. Now... I mean, that, that part of the story is, is lovely. I mean, it was told pretty well by the Baron and his, and his men and the, the Crookback Bog thing. We sort of picked up little bits from there. But Horson, Horson, Horson Jr., I want to hear about this guy. So how do you even meet a man like Horson Jr.? You and Yennefer were nowhere to be found, and I needed someone who could fix the phylactery. No ordinary craftsman would do. I needed a mage, one with extraordinary powers. Dandelion took it upon himself to help me. It was as if his honor depended on it. He arranged a meeting with a mage, but it proved a trap set by the temple guard. Hmm, failed to mention that. <laughs> Probably didn't want to worry you. Later, we learned the guard did that sort of thing regularly, in the hope of nabbing anyone who collaborated with mages. We needed to find another way. That was clear. 
Then Dandelion said he knew a man who owned a piece of Novigrad, as he put it, could do more than others. He was certain to know someone who could fix the phylactery. Orson Jr. Mm-hmm. I suspected it might not be the best idea, but I was desperate. I had no choice. And Junior cheated on you in the end. Not cheated on you, sorry, you weren't a couple. <laughs> he cheated you. You suspected right. Horson was not the ideal partner in crime. Damned Simpleton got it in his head that we cheated him and kidnapped Dudu. Who you promptly freed only to have to flee to Temple Isle. Great idea. We hadn't planned it. Had no time to consider, we just bolted. I didn't even realize the guardsmen were driving me into a trap. Suddenly there I was, and I knew I had to disappear. At once. And that's when you landed back in Skellige. The shore of Hindisfjall. The first pleasant place that came to mind. Hjalmar and I used to swim there. Wait, so you actually wound up there by accident? I thought you and Avalok had arranged something. No, he simply sensed me use my power. Just as Eredin can sense where I am, where I travel. In fact, Eredin arrived soon after I did. His ride is in tow. Once again, things happened quickly. Lofoten, the hunt's attack, my flight. And then, dreams. Just dreams. What did you dream? I've had nothing but nightmares lately. Pretty horrible. Likewise, for the most part. In one, a monster grown from a stillborn child chased you. Ugh. That was horrible. Huh. That happened. The ugly and baby. nice dreams. For example, in one we sat around a fire, drinking good wine, and all around people danced and laughed. I like that one a lot better. Me too. But these dreams, and the others, ended in some tower. No matter what I dream, in the end, I would enter a tower. Recognize it? Know where it might be? Not sure. I don't think so. But there was something familiar about it. And something terrifying. The tower was stark and dead. But at the same time, I felt I had to enter it. Did you? No. Dreams all ended with me searching for the entrance. And the last time, instead of the tower, I saw your grizzled face. If not for the scar over your eye, I'd have thought I was still dreaming. Uh, I was afraid you were dead. I, well, that's true. I was not just afraid. I, for a moment, thought you were. I was afraid you were dead. Found some dwarves here. Said they'd try to wake you, but you were cold as ice and you weren't breathing. And yet you came in. Who listens to dwarves these days? Speaking of which, they're probably getting antsy. We should go. Got a boat on the beach. Once we land, we'll head for Kaer Morin. On horseback. Right. Conventional means of travel. They're just better. Though a portal would be quicker. And draw Eredin to us immediately. Rather not risk it. Besides... I hate portals. <laughs> Thankfully, we haven't got a mage with us anyway, so... A mage or a sorceress, so... We'll, we have to use a boat and a horse. The bloody thieving dwarfs! Listen, we gotta think of a way to... Oh god, they know we're here! Out of here. They'll know where we've gone. They'll know how to find me. They already do. Siri, take us home. <sighs> the endless pursuit of the wild hunt. Horses, they look like they've almost got like red eyes. The devil horses of Kaer Morhen.
And we thought the dwarves were getting antsy. Jennifer up there is uh, looking a little anxious herself. Welcome back, child. Oh, Siri! <laughs> My, you've grown beautiful. No point standing around. Come on, time to greet the others. You've not changed a bit. Any of you. All just like I remembered. <laughs> what? Little sis. No, oh, this is awkward. <laughs> there is Triss. Good to see you again. I thought I turned off that optional outfit of hers. They're all here. Everyone you asked for help. Avalox resting in the tower, still in pretty bad shape. No reason to do it out here. Come inside. Okay, uh, guys, can we talk about something here? This is a little bit weird, isn't it? That that look that, that Triss gave me. Um, and when Yennefer kissed me, she kissed me. Obviously, she's very happy to see. She's happy to see Siri. Tris, it was. It was. That's all it was. That's all it meant. It wasn't anything else. Don't jump to conclusions. Don't overreact. She kissed me. I didn't kiss her back. I promise. I did. A little. Damn! It's good to see you again. Would you like a moment to yourselves? Sorry, we, uh, we didn't mean to... I know. It's a simple question. Do you want some time alone? Uh, why would you say only if you really don't mind? Geralt, you've got to get a backbone with Yennefer. If you've chosen somebody else, man, just say yes. Why? Yes, if it's okay with you, miss. Long as you really don't mind. Seemed to take that pretty well. Or wants us to think she did. Haven't been here in a while, have you? Too long. How's the guest room? Anything changed? Mm -hmm. The bed, it uh, <laughs> broke. Not a problem. We'll sleep on the floor. Spread out a hide and... <clears throat> Yennefer, you were going to give us a moment. F off. Guess we should go. Oh, a tangled web we weave, eh, Geralt? A thousand XP yeah, for that mission. You know the Wild Hunt better than anyone else. Tell us about the magic they use. Their navigators open portals. Rifts I'm just going to let those like two wander off into the distance. As awkward as it may be. I don't know why I feel awkward. I suppose it's because I've I've romanced Yennefer in previous games. I feel like I'm cheating on her. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you so much. For watching this one and it's uh, it's about to go down the battle of Kaer Morhen is upon us and I cannot wait for it it's it's an epic battle I have to say and I'm looking forward to playing it once more uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode we have the gang back together now not everyone is here just yet but more will arrive of course as we've recruited some friends in time we'll see who those people are um, I might have mentioned them already all the best Thanks for watching. Please leave a like on the episode and I'll see you in the next part. Take care. Good night.